1 year 1 minute na calculate panna kuda 15 minutes pattadu and it was 16 year long journey 2008 la da actually director blessy uh, decided to do rg with us and 2008 2009 la da he first came to me ipdi na inda padam panna pora nee da illa naji panna di konsu ah and later in the year if you see it's a 16 year long journey so idla vanda oru mega periya oru vishayam enna na back in 2008 when blessy sir decided to do rg with us avaru vanda inna ke epdi enna nalume oru kara adhe position la irundha he was the most coveted filmmaker in malayalam enakku theriyum he was the highest paid filmmaker in malayalam uh, in 2008 2009 and ellarume uh, avaru vanda already mamudi uh, sir was padam pannaru mohan lal sir was padam pannaru so all big stars wanted to do oru blessy padam avan life la pannu angra oru raasa ellarum irundhu so apdi vetta position la irukkara filmmaker for the next 16 years decides that illa na indha oru padam da panna pora apdi vetta conviction vandu it is uh, very very rare to find forget about cinema even in life it is very rare to find idu uh, the padam porthu varaikku idu oru periya journey idu 2009 la vandu we decided to do the film and it took us 10 years till 2018 to uh, to finally start rolling start shooting ஏன்னா இவ்வளவு பெரிய படம் இந்த இந்த பட்ஜெட்ல இந்த ஸ்கேல்ல இந்த கேன்வாஸ்ல வந்து டூ தௌசண்ட் எயிட் நைன் டைம்ல இட் வாஸ் இம்பாசிபிள் டு இமேஜின் எஸ்பெஷலி ஃப்ரம் த மலையாளம் இண்டஸ்ட்ரி அந்த பத்து வருஷம் இந்த பத்து வருஷம் ஆக்சுவலி செட் அப் த ப்ராஜெக்ட் யூனோ ஆல்மோஸ்ட் பிரிக் ரைட் பிக் அண்ட் யூனோ ஃபைனலி டி ஆர் ஏபிள் டு ஸ்டார்ட் ஷூட்டிங் இன் டூ தௌசண்ட் எயிட்டீன் அதுல வந்து டுடே ஐ டு டெல் ஆல் ஆஃப் யூ எஸ்பெஷலி தட் நவ் இயர் அண்ட் சென்னை இந்த படத்துக்கு வந்து இல்ல இப்படி ஒரு ஒரு மிகப்பெரிய ப்ராஜெக்டுக்கு இவ்வளவு செலவு பண்ணி இந்த ஸ்கெயில பண்ணலாங்கிற ஒரு 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 ஜஸ்டிபிகேஷன் வர்றதுக்கு மிகப்பெரிய காரணம் வந்து ரோமான் சார் தான் சின்ன ஸ்டோரி ரோமான் சார் ஆல்சோ நோஸ் திஸ் சின்ன ஸ்டோரி when blessy sir and me i had to move across in my vanity man in 2009 i think the like the first discussion we had is who's doing the music who's doing the music so only two names actually we were of course and again when you dream you can dream illa like, limitless a dream pannala so two names we uh, discussed one the first name is ar rahman sir and second name is hans zimmer so we actually mailed uh, both hans zimmer sir and ar rahman sir and we got the reply first from hans zimmer's team i think because we i think we mailed the wrong email address so hans zimmer or a team like edo or manager yaro the reply panna rama ipdi paakala adu illa but then we got the opportunity to to get the access to raman sir and the time la epdi how to get to raman sir nu kuda theriyala although you know we for us in kerala we still think ama avaru vandu namma alo illa first padam yodha malayalam la panna he's like when you when you if you see raman sir in kerala people relate to him like a like a malayali uh, but we didn't know how to get to him but finally we got access to him and uh, the uh, the faculty of a genius na solradhu vand the expertness in his or her own craft matter kedaya you should be able to spot something special like right? so and all around he is one of the greatest geniuses uh, to have lived in our times i think it is that that first meeting le vand i think raman sir understood that we are trying to pull off something very special and he said yes i am doing the film raman sir would appear on the when when it got associated with the project as well uh, suddenly the film you know even in kerala at the time like yeah raman pandrara ayyo appo and the level appo and the so and apdi better talk vand it really helped us a lot during the setting up stage so i have to take this opportunity to thank raman sir for showing the faith and the trust in this project and more importantly in blessy's vision uh so finally 2018 like we started shooting and uh, so you know the period transformation is is part of playing the role and now under 3 3 and a half years or desert la vandu stuck on the road kada the kada kada adu actually vaalke or the najamave vaalnda vaalke adu for another discussion uh, so the part of the beginning portions la na nare wait potta na undu nare wait potta appra if you start losing the change bayangama irukum solli i put on a lot of weight and we did the kerala portions and uh, we went to jordan uh, in wadi ram we shot the first desert sketch over i was fpm you know i had put on weight then we stopped shoot remember right that was eight or seven months seven months shooting the party yan wait yalakirad ko the time kudutu seven months later end of the year or oh, beginning of next year we went back to jordan 
Yeah, beginning of 2020, we went back to Jordan. Shooting Aram Vichy, Kondjanal Tannapo, the pandemic struck and we had to stop shooting. It was like over three months, the entire team was stuck in a desert in Jordan without being able to shoot. Uh, our shooting permission uh, was stopped. Uh, international air travel was stopped. So almost at the end of the third month, we got a repatriation flight. Up to that, the team full of Thirumbi on that. And the time when the Lester sir and me and the whole team, we did not know if the Yappo, the only shooting Nadakuma, Thirumbi Pau Mudi Ma. It was terrible. And uh, imagine it's a journey of so many years of weight and effort. Uh, but you know, Karol Pata and Nagra, two years after, almost one and a half years after, we managed to regroup and get the permissions again. In the Vatic, to shoot the escape portion of the whole desert saga, we went to Algeria uh, in the middle of the Sahara Desert. TV Moon, we used to go in four wheel drive SUVs into the desert. I don't know if any film crew has ever been there. I think it, is in, it should be next to impossible. Uh, I remember the locals, the Algerian locals telling us we ourselves haven't seen these places. So we shot one big uh, portion of the film. Then we came back to Jordan and uh, 2020 we couldn't do the portions that we couldn't shoot. We completed that in Jordan and uh, finally we came back to Kerala and the film we finished shooting in 2022. Uh, one and a half years long post-production process. Uh, in the 28th, he will open a career at Limax. Uh, so, in the 2009-2008 time, when I said yes to the film, uh, I, now that I hadn't got married, I obviously wasn't a father. Now, producer, rivala, director, rivala, distributor, rivala. Uh, in the all of my things in life, in the hard journey, journey, or another level. So, in the 28th of the 28th of March, it is almost like one phase of my life is culminating. Finally, when it is releasing now, I guess it's releasing at a time which is great for cinema in general and for Malayalam cinema in particular. Uh, in the Pano, uh, right from the beginning, we always thought whenever it is releasing, we should try and get the best distributors, the market leaders to distribute this film for us in every market. So I should take this opportunity since I'm here in Chennai and speaking to you about a Tamil version. Thank you, Uday Nidhi Stalin, sir. Uh, now we're a phone call down, but I called uh, Uday once. I have never spoken to him before that. Uh, and I told him, he put a project. It was an industry or a passion project. Even though it was a lot of effort. It was a red giant. Tamil Nadu released it. And it was a lot of effort. And I think Uday was an artist, so probably he understood what I meant. Or, uh, Uday probably related to what it would mean to a group of artists to have uh, thrown their conviction, time and effort behind something like this. And he gladly agreed. So thank you so much to Red Giant and Uday and Stalin sir for backing our film and showing faith in us. Kandipa, 28th of March, the world over the film will release. Please do watch the film. If you want to see a big part of the film, there is a story that is not a man, but a man is a man. And Najib Nagramandhan is here. He is with us, alive and well. He fought the circumstances. He found the strength to survive the circumstances. And he came out of it to be able to tell his tale. So the Padamandhan is an ultimate tribute to the resilience of human strength. It is a tribute to the life that Najib lived. And of course, it is a passion project for all of us involved. Thank you. Thank you so much. One particular scene, because both the Padame Park and the Kashta Padana, the entire team has worked. In the Uru scene, Mandu Murga, Kashta Padu Panda or a scene in the scene of the room. Which took a long time. You and now Mudila, Pindra, you would have pulled yourself back. Which particular scene was that? The right Padam Pandu have done more than 100 films. So, whenever when you ask me about a film, I am able to differentiate the experience of shooting the film as oh, in, on the scene, in the fight sequence, in the, in the climax sequence, and the location I shoot. You know, there is a lot of art here, and it's one the beginning to end of the, even as we speak today, there were one whole experience that I have to with that. I am not able to differentiate between days, scenes, events. Um, I remember how I felt, because I keep saying, I wasn't eating. Uh, in the gym, I six pack. I was actually. It's another process. 
In the Padana Purta, the transmission requirement to look like somebody who did not have access to enough food, somebody who was starving. I have to take, the, take that route, I have to starve myself. So now I, I wasn't eating. Yeah. I was completely fasting. Almost at times, the fast used to go on for three days, 72 hours. So in the Pano, I was shooting when I was in the Pano. When I wake up, I'm hungry. Through the day, I'm hungry. When I go to sleep, I'm hungry. So other than that, I cannot differentiate between days, scenes, etc. It was a very giant experience. Uh, like I, I feel like I've lived through that. So, Amma, it's, it's tough for me to pick one. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much.